Hey guys, welcome back. Now before moving forward with our other functionalities, I want to talk about a bit regarding our CSS and Bootstrap. To be a good backend developer, you need small knowledge that is certain knowledge of CSS and HTML which is quite important. So here in this lecture, we'll be talking about a concept called screen dividing. So if you are a front-end developer and have basic knowledge regarding Bootstrap, this is a good lecture for you. You can just go with the flow. And if you are new to Bootstrap, you will get some basic knowledge. So whenever we talk about our screen with Bootstrap, we can divide our screen into 12 parts. And now if I need to set any widgets on my screen, I can just set them according to that 12 parts. So here if I talk about this input field, it is currently taking complete 12 parts. So what I can do is I can keep everything in a single row. That means in one row, I can divide a screen into four part, then six part, then two part. So that will be equal to 12. For the first four part, I can utilize the label. Then I can use this input field and then our add task button. So let us do that and understand what I am talking about. Let me jump onto my code at currently what I'm doing is I'm taking this div section, creating an input field and then adding a button. Let me change this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this div field. Now we have just this input and button. So here all I need to do is I just need to convert this form into a single row. So here I would be adding a class called row. Now every field in this form would be inside a single row. That means these both field will be on the same line. The next thing I want to do is I want to give this input field only six gap. That means only 50% of my screen. So all you have to do is use the class column large six and here I will be following the same and will provide only two spaces. That means I will be giving two parts out of 12. Now let me test this one. So this is the current result that we are achieving. We can do one more small change. What if I add a label before my input field? So let me do that. All I have to do is add a label field. And inside this label field, let me ask for today's task. And let us also provide our bootstrap class that is column large and four. That means it will take approx one third of our screen. Let me refresh my result. Yep, this is my result. I will change this text later. Let me remove this one for now. We will plan something and add a new text. The next thing is if you want to just remove this row and if you don't want this row, all you have to do is just remove this T head and it would solve all your problem. So some of you might not like this row. Uh, you just need to remove the T head from the table and you are good to go. So these are all your tasks and you don't need any header. But if you don't have any problem, you can just utilize it. Now this was a small change, but I really wanted to talk about screen dividation. I hope this lecture was helpful for someone who is not from CSS or bootstrap background. In the next lecture, let us continue our application and talk about functionality regarding delete functions.